Hey, Robin. Clint, what the, oh, we got the morning crew. You guys don't want to show your videos? You want to, it's kind of fun. We're going to start in like two minutes. You guys, it's a little bit longer today. We've got some good stuff for you. And I'll go over the equipment stuff here in just a sec. <clears throat> oh, Christian Glad's got on. Okay. Katie. Thank you for sending that. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, good morning, everybody. Okay, one second. So if I mean, I don't know if you guys looked at the, the movements or anything for um, for what we're going to be doing today. Hold on. Kind of adjusting my screen. Um, but if you have a little bit of equipment that you're able to use, um, you'll want something to the effect that you can do bicep curls with and also a, um, a pull through in a plank position. And then if you do have access to um, a mini band or something, there, there's an option without, and that's totally fine. But I'm going to be using one for one thing at the end. It's one movement. Um, but you will want dumbbells for curls. We're also at the end going to do a lateral raise. And so, I mean, all I've got working with my heaviest set of dumbbells are eight pounds. So that's what I'm going to be working with today. Um, but we're going to be going for about a three-minute warm-up. Then we're going to have a 15 minute block, a bit of a four minute cardio block in between, and then another 15 minute block. So we got a lot of work we're going to be getting through today. Then we'll cool down. So hopefully you guys are kind of in it and ready. Um, I don't know. Can, if anyone wants to unmute themselves, can you guys hear me just fine? Yeah, we can. Oh, okay, perfect. All right. We're going to get this thing started then. Um, we're going to go ahead and just to let you guys know, too, you've had this question a lot. I think I've got it down where today we should be able to have the recordings uploaded and we should have a link for it. It's been a little bit funky, but we're going to try to have that going today just because we know not everyone can catch it, can catch it live, especially at, at six in the morning. Okay, let's go ahead and start with some arm circles going forward. In my garage is like, it's like 40 degrees out here right now. So I'm, I got my, I got the coat shirt on, but I gotta, I gotta warm up a little bit and then it will get, get going. Okay, now let's go backwards. Today is kind of some total body compound movement, kind of the theme around it. So we should be able to get your heart rates up if your heart rates are synced up to your abs. Okay, now we're going to squat and reach overhead. So as you're coming down into the squat, that's where you guys are going to reach and then stand up and lower your arms down. And I don't know about you guys, but man, the, this catch us if you can thing. My feet and my legs are dying. Hey, Pam, welcome. Okay, now we're going to shift from side to side. So bring your feet wide and just shift your weight from side to side, pushing back onto your hips. You can elevate. I don't know if you guys can see. Elevate the foot so that you're going onto your heels. So you get a good stretch through your hamstring and the inside of your leg. Go for about 30 seconds back and forth. Okay, now we've got seal jacks. That's where instead of going up, you have your palms facing in, you're going to bring your arms out. So 
one always gets my heart rate up a little bit. Okay, and our last one, I'm gonna angle this down a little bit. Hey, Amber, what's up? We're gonna be doing wide mountain climbers and they're gonna be slow. So you're gonna take your foot to the outside of your hand, plant it down for a second and step back. So get some good mobility and movement through your hips. We'll go for about 30 seconds. Okay, now we're gonna go straight into it. So, Kathy, hey, how's it going? Oh, and you're on your iPhone, all right. Okay, so there's kind of a lot. I don't know if you guys have looked at the, at the, the pictures and stuff we posted of the movements. I know that sometimes helps. Let me go through them. We're gonna have 15 minutes. Our goal is to get about three rounds. It's a heavy volume of reps. So we're gonna start out. Whatever weight you got, if you want to hold something, if you want to, it doesn't have to be dumbbells, but kind of find something. Kathleen, it's going to work for you. So the first one is 20 total weights overhead lunges. Now a good option, if you would rather rest the weights here at your shoulders and do a squat if you don't want the lunge. Actually, or you can stagger and not go down all the way if your feet are feeling a little sore. Then we're going to curl squat, and then release the curl. We're going to do that 20 times. So curl with a front squat. And don't worry, I'm going to be kind of reiterating these as we go. Then you're going to take it to the floor, angle it down. You're going to pull the dumbbell across your body from side to side. Left to the left, right to the right. We'll do 20 total. And then we've got three movements on your core. The first one is going to be a seated torso rotation. You can either keep the dumbbell close to your body or as a bit of a challenge, you can bring it away from your body. Or if you don't really have much of a weight, you can always have your hands out in front of you. Okay. And then we're going to go into a side plank crunch. These ones always get me down onto your forearm, lift your hips up, and you're going to bring your knee towards your elbow. Now, if that puts a lot of pressure on your bottom knee, put your knee down. That's a good option on your mat or on the floor, whatever you got. Okay, it'll be 10 on one side, 10 on the other. And then the last one, and trust me, this feels awkward for everybody. Opposite arm and opposite leg, 20 total, 10 on each side. Those ones are quick. The great thing though, is that it's really good stability work for your lower back. So even though they might feel weird, they're good in that way. Um, I'm going to angle this as best I can so you can kind of catch the upper and see the lower body portion of it. I'm going to move this back here so you guys will get a little bit better of a view when we go into the core movement. But what we're going to start with are the 20 overhead lunges. So remember, we're going for 15 minutes. I've got the time. I'll let you know when we're kind of as we go. So let's start out 20 times. That's 10 for me. If you need to bend your elbows a little bit, that works too, especially if it's going to keep you from arching your back. Yeah, three more. Okay. Next one up is the curl to a front squat. So you'll curl, hips go back and down. Release the curl 20 times. That's 10. Tell you guys it's a heavy volume. Volume meaning the amount of reps that we're doing. That's 14. 20 is a big number. 
So it's a bit of an endurance total body feel. Oh, let's get one more. Remember, you can always be ahead of me if you kind of know what you're doing. So let's keep you on time. Okay, now we're gonna do the pull through from the plank position. So you're gonna do 10 on each side, 20 total. Remember, it's left to the left, right to the right. Watch that your hips aren't elevating. We're doing a lot of swaying back and forth. These ones should move a little quicker. Five more. Okay, now we've got this core sequence we're gonna be going through. So you've got the seated torso rotation, 20 total, 10 on each side. Try to keep your knees still, shoulders back. Okay, now the next one, side plank crunch. We're doing 10 on one side, then we're going to move on to 10 on the other side. I like to drop my bottom knee personally. Your call. Try to keep your shoulders and chest open. Your hips elevated off the floor. And we'll go 10 on the other side. Two more. And then swimmers. So opposite arm, opposite leg. You can go quick, you can rest them in between whatever you need. Just like that, there's 20. Okay, that's round number one. Should be able to go through this next one a little bit quicker. Starting to warm up in here. <laughs> okay. So, let's recap overhead lunges 20 times. Eight more. This is a big total body shoulder stability, leg movement and strength. Five more. Two more. Okay. Now it's the curl. Oh, I got in the green. Okay. Curl through a front squat. Hope you guys like my heavy dumbbells. Remember that this period of time where we don't have access to the studio, it is all about finding things that you can do your best with. Might not be at the same caliber you had at the studio, but you know what, what's the alternative? Not getting the exercise in, so I think something, doing the best with what you got, is gonna keep you in a routine so that once we do reopen those doors, you're gonna flow right back into it. And it's gonna come soon. We're gonna be back at it real soon, guys. Hang in there. Two more. Uh. 
Okay, now we're gonna go to the plank pull through. We check our time. Guys, we got like eight minutes, okay. About halfway. 20 total. Left to the left, right to the right. Option is to take your knees down to the floor. Key on this is hip stability. So you want to prioritize these guys staying still. If there's a lot of movement and rocking and elevating, it's best to go down to your knees. Okay. Same stability. Have your knees stable. Glue this dumbbell to your chest or if you want the challenge out in front of you and rotate with it. 20 total, 10 on each side. Five more. Woo. You guys remember what's next? The best one, side plank crunches. I'm gonna try to go for my toes this time. Okay. Let me get my foot on the mat. Woo, and switch to the other side. Remember, 10 on each side. You can drop your knee as an option. Woo, okay, what's our last one? Swimmers, down on the floor. Opposite arm. Opposite leg, 20 times. You kind of look and feel like a fish out of water. Don't worry, everybody does. Whew. Oh, this is so cool. We've got a handful of you guys jump on. Very cool. Okay. We've got about five minutes. Now this 15 minutes, I think we can get through one more time. Get your dumbbells again. We're gonna go into the overhead lunges. Got my kid's cup, <laughs> my water. Okay, let's rock, 20 times. Remember, step like throwing railroad tracks. You got eight more. And there it is, okay. Woo. Curl to a front squat. This one I know we usually Talk about elbows staying pinned into your side. Because you're going into a front squat, you gotta bring your dumbbells up a little higher. So your elbows are actually gonna drift away from your body on this one. That's okay. Okay, we got 10 more. Eight more. Five more. Two more. Okay, ready for the pull through. 20 times. 
hip stability, people. Then we got the cardio movement coming up. Ten more. And if you guys ever see my forearms blocking, shoot, unmute your mic and call me out. Two more. Okay. Good segue to sports rotation. We've got about two minutes. Side plank crunch, 10 on each side. I'm using my knees on this one. Ten. Got ten on the other side. Remember, just keep your hips elevated. And then swimmers, I'm gonna go over the next block. Try not to hold your breath. Get a couple breaths in. Look down to the mat so you're not flexing your neck. All right, guys, get a sip of water. It's gonna get fine. Okay. Let's touch on. So we're gonna have a four minute cardio round, all right? Here's what it's gonna look like. We did this like a week ago. I think this was in one of the workouts if you did it. Here's what it looks like. High knees, as high as you can for me. My goodness, guys, all of that running has been, oh man, my feet and my knees. You can also do a butt kick or you can march in place. I actually might be taking some of the marching option because my, my feet, man, I am not an outdoor runner and trying to keep up with all of your guys' mileage. It has been unreal. So we're gonna go 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. I'm gonna be keeping the time, okay? We're gonna start in just a few seconds. I'll give you a second to breathe. So 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, we'll start in 20 seconds. So get a little sip of water if you need it. We're gonna do eight rounds. So it's gonna be four minutes total, eight rounds. 20 on, 10 off. I'm oh, sorry, 15 seconds and we'll start. I wanna make sure my clock on the screen is going to follow. We got five seconds. You guys ready? Yo, yo, here we go. Okay, so high knees, 20 seconds, let's do it. Remember, do whatever option you need. If you need to march, just raise your knees up. Do that, let's break. So you can move quick as you want. The point is to get your heart rate to elevate right here. We got 10 seconds of rest and we're going into round two. You guys are gonna have to keep me accountable to make sure I don't make you do more than eight rounds. Okay, let's do it. You can pump your arms with it if you want. Almost like you're running in place. Got about five more seconds. And break. That's two rounds. We got six more. Oh man. Okay, let's go ahead and start. Round three. You can think if you don't want to elevate your knees super high, move your feet quick. I'm on a few more seconds. 
Handbrake. Dang. That was round three. Okay, pick it up, round four. Ten seconds. Break. Okay, got six more. Then trust me, guys, we're not done. Okay, let's go. Round five. Five seconds. Pick it up. Handbrake. Guys, I'm creeping up to zone four. I might get a splat point. Woo. Oh, shoot. Who do we got jumping on? Tanya? Welcome. Okay, go. Round six. Keep moving quick. We only got two more rounds after this. Five seconds. Break. Woo. Proud of you guys for being up here early. Man, getting it done. That's what I got to do. Second to last round. Let's go. Five seconds. Come on. Handbrake. Okay. Yo, this is our final round. Can you make it a little faster? Maybe a little higher underneath it too. Ready, set, go. Ten seconds. Come on. Handbrake. Okay. Get some water. I've got a special. This is the bonus stuff. You didn't see this stuff online. Let me go over what it is. While you guys are taking a little, little shot of recovery, turn down my music. Okay, so this is where if you don't have a mini band, it's okay. That's totally fine. Um, here is what is, we're gonna be doing four exercises, one minute a piece with 15 seconds of rest in between. I'll be keeping the time, we're gonna go three rounds. That's going to total 15 minutes and we're done. And we'll stretch. We're going to get you guys out of here by 6.45. Hopefully that sounds good. Here's what your first one is. Ooh. Hold something, some kind of weight. It can be light, it can be two water bottles, whatever. Lateral raises for one full minute. My eight pounds are going to feel like 50 pounds by the end of this. Then we're going to rest. And then with no weight, we're going to hold a squat together and just enjoy each other's company for one minute, then we're gonna rest. And then if you have access to a mini band, if you don't have an option for you, you're gonna do front raises with the bands. Okay, this is right below the wrist, raising up to the height of your shoulders, no higher, for one minute. We'll rest for 15 seconds. Oh, here's the option. Lighter set of dumbbells if you want, or something if you have like a stick. Let me show you what I mean. You have something like, like let's say like a broomstick. Hold on to it, okay, this might be kind of hard to see, but as you're holding on, you're gonna pull to the outer part of it. Even though your hands aren't moving, you're kind of pulling outward with the stick. That's a great option to still get tension through the rotator cuff. So if you don't have a band, grab something light that's stick-like. Okay, we're gonna do that for one minute, rest for 15, and then guys, we got pulsing half squat for one minute, and we're gonna repeat that sequence three times. So. Lateral raise of the dumbbells, hold a squat, mini band front raise or stick, pulsing half squats. You guys ready to do this? We've got three rounds. I'll time you guys. We're going to start in 20 seconds. So get your dumbbells ready or your weight or your water bottles or something, jugs of water, rolls of toilet paper. It really doesn't matter. 
Okay, we got 10 seconds. No, man. It's a bonus what you guys came for. Okay, ready? One minute, let's go. Pay attention on this one. What's my lower body doing? Everything below the shoulders. The answer is absolutely nothing. It's gonna be very tempting watch to do this. To get that little bounce in the knees. No, we don't got time for that this morning. You wanna work your shoulders. You don't wanna use momentum from your lower body. As you get tired, take a little break in between. We're already 30 seconds in. A good option if this is bugging your shoulders, turn your palms out, neutral, lateral raise. Take a little pressure off your rotator cuff. Whatever's gonna feel best for you. But none of that bounce in the knees, people. We're better than that. Ooh. Ten seconds. You get fifteen seconds of rest coming up. Your shoulders, no matter how light this weight is, should be burning right now. Boom, let's rest. You guys ready? Here comes the test. We've got a squat hold for one minute. I won't let you go a second over. You guys ready? Feet hip width apart, toes forward. Get your hips down low, about parallel with your knees. Do it. Level with the knees. And if you're getting tired, just come up a little higher. But here's something, it's a good time when you're doing isolated movement. Focus on where you should feel this. If you're feeling it a lot in the front of your legs, we're not activating the, the complete right set of muscles. You wanna feel your glutes, butt, hamstrings, squeezing tight to hold your body up and to hold it stable. Make sure you're feeling the squeeze in the glutes. Okay, we got 25 seconds. Ooh. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. You got it. And break. Okay. Fifteen seconds. Here's where you get get the broomstick, get the mini band, get something. Remember, you're not raising higher than your shoulders. I'm gonna do both of them. So round one, I'm gonna do the bands. Round two, I'm gonna do the broomstick. So you guys can see both. Green or orange if you're using our band. Ready? One minute, let's go. And you want to feel this one better. It's about quality, not quantity. They stay shoulder width apart. Give you guys a couple different views. So we're already halfway. We got 30 seconds. Remember, if you're holding on to a stick or something, you got to pull apart without moving your hands. So it forces tension deep in your shoulders. 15 seconds. Push out against it a little more. There we go. 10 seconds. Maybe hold it for a second. Five seconds. <sighs> Pulsing half squat. We'll do them in 10 seconds. And that's round one. You ready? Pulsing half squats. Here we go. Remember, not all the way up, not all the way down. You're finding a happy medium between the two. Again, where should we be filming this? Glutes that are the primary movers, bring their body up, stabilizing it before it drops all the way down. You don't want to be pushing forward through your knees too quad dominant. Okay, back through your hips and focus that motion on your glutes. Squeeze them extra tight. 20 seconds. Line your feet up. We talked about it in class. Toes forward, even. Oh, we got 10 seconds. Two more seconds, get two more. And break. Woo. 
Okay, guys, two more rounds. Get your dumbbells, here comes the lateral raise. Or your water bottles or whatever you're using. This is good stuff, okay, do it. Remember, no balance in the lower body. Nice and controlled. <clears throat> oh guys we got 25 seconds nice and slow don't let your form go you need to take a little break and regroup do it <sighs> 10 seconds get some good reps in Ooh. Okay, one more and then we'll break. And rest. All right, guys, you got your squat hold coming up. Five seconds. Okay. Woo. Hold it. Remember, let me give you the profile view. As best you can, toes pointing forward, shoulders back, push your butt back, back. You don't want your knees pushing forward. You don't want your feet like wide and pointing out. No, we're not doing a sumo squat hold. Toes forward and then push your butt back and hold it. We got 20 seconds. You can go a little lower, do it. This is our second to last squat hold. Oh yeah. 15 seconds. Squeeze your butt. Don't let it go to your quads too much. Squeeze your butt. Five seconds. And break. You guys remember what's next? Here I'm gonna show you with the broomstick. Five seconds. Remember, if you're holding this shoulder width apart and pull out against it. Here we go. It's not supposed to feel heavy moving up. It's supposed to feel heavy going out against your shoulders. Oh, shoot, this broomstick. I feel like it's harder than the bands. Oh, we want to go back to the bands on the third round. So props to everyone grabbing their Swiffers or their mops or curling irons or whatever you got. 30 seconds. Pull out against it, grip hard. There's a profile. Just up to here and then back down. Time under tension. Come on, we got 10 seconds. Last rep, get one nice and slow one. Then break. I gotta put this away. No. <laughs> you guys know what's next? Bolt and half squats. Let's go. I can't go down very low right now. <laughs> My legs are so shot. But you do you. You do what's going to feel good for you. 30 seconds. And then guess what? We got one more round and we're going to wrap up. Ten seconds. And break. Okay, lateral raise, hold the squat, front raise with the mini bands, 
and pulsing half squats, and we're good. Then we're going to chat during the stretch. Got some words of wisdom for you if you can stick around. Okay, you ready? <sighs> Lateral raise, let's do it. Remember, neutral, thumbs up, palms out. Great option. Thirty seconds, guys. Come on. Fifteen seconds. Last one on this. Then we can put these dumbbells away. Ten seconds. Make them quality. Come on. And break. Okay, set them to the side. Ready for your final hold on the squat. Get a sip of water. Woo! Hold the squat. You see my screen, I'll be looking right at you. Here we go. Got Clint, Pam, Amber. Oh. Ooh, Kathy, all the rest of you guys are on the Robin. Do your challenge, guys. We're approaching your final 30 seconds on this squat hold. Get a little lower with me. And we got 30 seconds. Drop down a little bit more. I'm like, I'm disappearing out of your screen. Uh-oh. How low can you get without letting your back compromise? Come on, team. We got 20 seconds. And then we're going to get the mini band with a broomstick. 10 seconds, come on. Two more seconds. Don't get up. And break. Okay. Those bands on. You guys ready? It's gonna be a minute. Front raises, minute, pulsing half squats. We'll cool down and we're done. Ha <laughs> ha. And let's do it. Remember, quality over quantity. Even if you just held your arms out like this, put your hands, get the width of your shoulders so they're not coming in. We don't want in, we want to push out. Come on, we got 20 seconds, guys. Keep me separated. Feel the burn deep in your shoulders. 10 seconds. Whoo! Last rep. Oh, okay. 15 seconds, and we're gonna do pulsing half squats for a minute, and we're done. We're going to stretch together. Woo. Ready? Let's do it. Line those feet up. Push your butt back and down. One minute separates you to the finish. And remember, guys, I think today, I'm gonna, I think I have it figured out to get these recorded, or that they are, we record them, but we're trying to get them uploaded. So you guys have a link that you can go back and if you wanna follow and watch it, you can. I mean, I love the live stuff. We got 25 seconds to be able to see and interact with you guys a little bit. But I know it doesn't always work for you to be live 15 seconds. Five seconds. And break. All right. We're gonna stretch, get a quick sip of water. 
Let me kind of move some of this stuff around. Get this computer down here on the floor. I'm gonna turn my my music down. Okay. Get some. Okay, so let's stretch. I'm gonna sit right here with you guys. Bring the soles of your feet together. Scoot them in close. Grab onto your toes. So something, because we're seeing this a lot on, on Facebook, on the group, comments on Instagram. I think everyone's in the same boat on this, that everybody is struggling with eating and craving foods and they're not always the healthiest and we're sitting at home a lot and it's, it's just hard. And so everyone's going through it, guys. It's not just like there's someone out there that's like, oh, it's easy to be eating healthy. I'm, it's, it's tough for me to stay on, stay on track. And most of the times I fall off of it. We had waffles last night for dinner. So there you go. Um, I'll go ahead and bring your right leg out. Swing the left one up and over top. Just hug it tight into your chest. You can feel it right here on the outside of your hips. Um, but I think the moral of the story is just go easy on yourself. It is, it's too easy right now while you guys are stuck at home in different circumstances, your kids are home, all of that to, to go down the rabbit hole of just feeling bad about not being perfect with your diet. Cause man, we came right off to side, the transformation challenge everyone doing so good staying connected with what their goals were everything like that and then all of a sudden this literally hit like two days after that we had to shut everything down temporarily and you know what no this is temporary times and seasons all you've got to do is do the best you can and not get too stressed out about not being perfect okay hey, reach out for your toes you guys don't know if I'm touching my toes or not. For all you know, I could be like reaching past, but I'm, eh, it's far from it. <laughs> but just, I think the, the thing that I want to get across is just go easy on yourself. Please don't um, get down about not being perfect with your diets or with your routine. Just do the best you can and know that we're going to quickly be back in it with you guys. Let's go into a figure four stretch. You're going to come onto your back, right ankle above the left knee. Grab right around your shin and just pull in towards your chest. She feels on the outside of the right hip. A little bit through your low back. You can relax your shoulders back if you want. I'm super impressed. But I know it's not 40 people waking up at 6 a.m. because times are a little different right now. But 11 people this early in the morning on a Friday? I mean, come on. You got to carry that kind of pride and sense of accomplishment switch sides throughout the rest of your day. And if you're wanting, if you have time to get in a little bit of extra cardio outside at home, I'm going to go real light on my cardio today. Not yesterday killed me. I don't know if I should have done 11 miles, but you guys are helping to push us a little bit on this catch us if you can challenge. Okay, bring both knees in towards your chest and we're trying to organize we might be doing this saturday a um kind of a virtual run together around nine o'clock in the morning we'll keep you guys posted on what we exactly figure out with that but it's not like that we have to we're all going to kind of start together so if you want to look forward to that we're thinking around 9 a.m on saturday morning it could be a 10 minute run an hour run a third just that we're all starting together and then we'll shout out our Accomplishments at the end of it. I think it'll be pretty cool. Okay, let's go into pigeon. So you're going to bring your right knee forward. Move this back a little bit right in between your hands. And then you're going to come down. Oh, I'm like right in your face. Onto your forearms. Just push down on your right hip. So you have Brittany, Heather, Kathleen, Pam, Amber, Kathy, Robbie and Trisha, Kristen, Clint. Robin and Tanya all on here. I know my screen says Tennille, 
need to rename that because um, Tennille was the one that set up this Zoom account for us. Boom, there we go. And um, it's one that we're all kind of sharing for our live workouts. So we can have it on the same landing page and everything. Switch side. Step your right foot back. You can kind of push up in the <clears throat> down dog. Press down through your heels. Then we're going to bring your left knee forward. Got a pigeon on that side. And guys, what we're going to do, because we know that these, um, the Orange Theory workouts, the at-home ones, that they're, they're quick. Some days it's like 10, 15, 20 minutes. Um, some days a little longer, like 25 minutes or a half hour. Um, us as coaches, we're always going to add on something towards the end that will make it about a 45-minute workout. So if you guys can plan on a little more time, I think you'll get a little bit more out of it and then get your little bit of cardio in. I think you guys are going to enjoy it a lot better. So make sure you tune into these um, 45 minute workouts are going to be from here on out. Okay, it's going to child's pose to finish and we'll be good. So bring your knees apart. That part's important. So left knees apart, feet together, push your hips back onto your heels and take a big reach out in front of you. Press down through your palms. And you guys are good to go. Love you guys. Have a great rest of your day. We're going to figure out how to get these things posted. And you guys are awesome. Thank you, David. Love you guys.